Hey, 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 what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to all the class scholars out there. My name is Kieran Tross. Uh, we are continuing with our PIM series, our deep dive. Today, I want to jump into the Microsoft Entra Alert. So this is extremely important. Uh, this is will tell you exactly how you are doing uh, with rolling out your Microsoft um, roles within your environment. It will give you uh, information that is very crucial to keeping your organization safe. So what we're gonna do is I'm in the entre.microsoft.com on the Entre portal. I need to go down to ID, identity governance and I'm gonna go down to privilege identity management. So please follow along um, on your screen. And then what I need to do here is Microsoft Entre roles. And then within Microsoft Entre roles, we have these alerts. Now, when it comes to the alerts, the security alerts that you have within Microsoft Entra, um, there are different severity levels. So there's high. Uh, high means requires immediate action because of a policy violation. Then there's medium. Uh, doesn't require immediate action, but signals a potential policy violation. And then there's also low, which doesn't require immediate action, but suggests a preferable policy change. Matter of fact, let me come over here to this screen, this tab, and you can see right here, um, it states exactly what I just said. Um, and I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video uh, for this link so you can get to it, but it's just Microsoft Entre Alerts. And there are different alerts that you have within your organization. So here I have three alerts and it's also giving me a count. So if you click on, you see here it says roles don't require multi-factor authentication for activation. I have three and our risk level is medium. Roles are being assigned outside privilege identity management. It's giving me one which is uh, the one count and which is high. So I have one role that's given me that and then potential stale accounts in a privileged role, right? So let's get an understanding of what each one means. So roles don't require multi-factor authentication for activation. I think that's pretty straightforward, but um, I just want to bring it up here. So if this screen will tell you roles don't require multi-factor authentication, it says, why did I get this alert? Without multi-factor authentication, compromised users can activate privileged roles. Uh, how to fix, review the list of roles and require multi-factor authentication for every role. Uh, prevention, require MFA. And then also it says make multi-factor authentication required for activation for, of the privileged role. So if I come back over here and I click on this one, it'll give me some more detail. So it says uh, security reader, Azure DevOps administrator, and attribute log administrator. So it's giving me these roles that's saying that. And then if I click up here, I could dismiss it or I can fix it. So I can click fix. Are you sure you want to resolve the selected alert? Or I could come over here and then I could just say dismiss. And the same thing for this one. Now this is a lab environment, so I'm not too concerned about that. But here it says roles are being assigned outside privilege identity management. This one's a big one. And this is one that I did for, um, this test log admin user that was testing something out. So I can click on this and if I click on fix, right, it can it should fix. Are you sure you want to resolve this issue? Um, so basically what you really need to do is this test log admin user, you need to remove that and say, okay, you need, um, let me make sure that the role is now assigned in the privilege um, uh, rule. So it's not really gonna go in and fix it for you. You're just saying that you fixed it and then this way it goes away or you could dismiss the alert. So I wanna make sure that you understand that. So next one I'm gonna to go to is I'm gonna to go to this potential stale accounts and privilege role. So it says potential stale accounts and privilege role. So let's see what it says over here. Potential stale accounts and privilege role. It says, why did I get this alert? This alert is no longer triggered based on the last password change date or of for an account. This alert is for accounts in a privileged role that haven't signed in during the past N amount of days, where N is many days that is configured between 1 to 365. These accounts might be service or shared accounts that aren't being maintained and are vulnerable to attacks. So to review the accounts in the list, if they no longer need access, remove them from the privileged role. So that's pretty much how you have to do it. And then it also gives you a best practice about what you need to do here. So essentially what I need to do is I need to go to these roles and say, okay, you know what? It's, it's giving me the last sign in date. So this is, you know, January 19th, 2024. This is, you know, uh, all the way to July 31st of 2023. Like these roles have been here, but they have access. So right here, this is my cloud admin. I'm actually gonna fix this one. 
because I really don't need that to have that role. So I need to come to all my users. Right here, my cloud admin, assign roles, and I'm gonna remove it. Okay, so if I come back here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see if I scan again and see if it says from four to three. So look, potential steal accounts, it went from four to three. So just so you know, you have to go in and you have to do it yourself. So let's do another one. So this is Azure DevOps Administrator and is user 22. So um, that was one of the stuff that I did in the other videos. So let me come back here. Uh, I'm going to go to my user 22. I'm going to go to my roles. And the last one was test user one. This one's got two, and I'm removing that one as well. So I'm gonna come back over here, and this one has a global admin rates as well, so I'm gonna remove that one definitely. That's an active assignment. And then what I'll do is I'll scan and then hopefully this doesn't show up anymore for my set of alerts. All right, so this one's taking a little while for the, it to uh, to show. Um, I did a scan a few times and I removed the rolls, but it's still showing up here. So it does take a little while sometimes for it to remove itself, but that's pretty much the gist of it, right? So if you wanted to come here and say, okay, you know, I was able to rectify this, I could come here and I could just click fix. Right? Um, are you sure you want to resolve this? And you can say yes because you know you removed that role and that role is no longer a part of that user's um, uh, associated with that user. And that's pretty much it. That's 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 how you would go about looking at the alerts within Microsoft Entra and making sure everything is all set. You also have this area right here, which is settings, and you can modify different things, right? So the organization doesn't have Azure AD Premium 2. You could come here. Certain things you can do, and each one has a little different um, settings that you can um, set up with. So I can disable this one if I wanted to. Um, for roles don't require multi-factor authentication, I can disable that one. Eligible administrators um, aren't activating their privileged roles. So number of days without a role activation, I could change this if I want to do 60, 54, or 20. I could change that. It's really up to you and how you want to um, uh, make that within your organization. And I'll just click OK because I don't want to change that. Um, uh, I want to save those settings. I should say roles are being assigned outside of privilege identity management. This is a huge one. I think you should leave that there. Roles are being activated too frequently. So you could change the activation renewal time frame, maximum number of minutes between activation. So if you really want to be, um, you want to make sure that you find catching anomalies, you know, you really know exactly how your organization would work, right? So you could change days. You can change hours, minutes, and even up to seconds. And then it says number of renewals, minimum number of activation within a time frame window to trigger an alert. So this is a good one as well. And then there's there are too many global administrators. So if your organization you're saying we need we don't want anything more than five, you could put that number up to five. Percentage of global administrators, minimum percentage of global administrators out of total administrators to trigger alert. 
So now if you say, you know, your total administrators is 10 and then you can say, you know, your percentage is like 15 or whatever, it's in totally up to you. Um, I'll let you guys take care of the percentage. And then potential stale accounts in a privileged role. So number of days, number of days without signing in. So this is a good one because if, if you have stale accounts, and I've seen it a lot with clients where they have these accounts, whether it's service accounts or whatever account that they have, and there's high turnover within the organization, you're going to have stale accounts. But if you have stale accounts and nobody's signing into those accounts, especially if they have elevated rights, you are you are definitely uh, there's room for an attacker to take over one of those accounts or even an old employee that may have created that account, left the organization in a bad manner three months later. They're sitting down and saying, oh, crap, I still remember that account. Sign into the account, and that's that. Now he's re he or she is re uh, wreaking havoc for the ho whole company, and your weekend is just shot because you're now doing uh, trying to come in and fix the whole situation. So th these are great alerts. Um, I would suggest that you really go through it and fine-tune it so that this way it's tailored for your organization. So that that's pretty much it when it comes to alerts within Azure PIM. Um, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. If there's any questions or anything that you have around Azure PIM or anything within the Azure ecosystem, please leave it in the comment section. I'm more than happy to help you out. Uh, once again, my name is Kieran Tross here at Cloud Scholars. My goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.